Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's get into our inspiration for the day. Go ahead and open our jars up and get out one and see what we got. Okay. It says, let us be kinder to one another. Aldo, Aldous Huxley. His dying words. Uh, I have a different camera view, you guys, so you can see our project. So it's a little bit wonky today. Um, I have this mason jar uh, piece of unfinished wood here. And it's rather large. And I'm going to cut off the little tag here. As you can see, I paid $2.99 for this. And it was on half of that. So I didn't pay much at all for it. Um, I tried to get you a, a better camera view. So I did bring my, cam my uh, camera up a bit. We're going to put this fairy on this jar. Isn't she beautiful? She's an iron-on. So we're going to have to iron it on using that little cricket iron so i take it outside and i'm going to paint the um mason jar and i put the uh paint that i used up in the left or the right hand corner so you can see what i used and the color and i'm just going to throw a coat on over it let it dry and then i come back and i give it another coat And I think that color is going to look beautiful behind our fairy. And I thought this was fitting, you know, fairy in a jar. So <laughs> we're going to put the fairy in this mason jar. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this Mod Podge uh, coat on here. To go ahead and seal that up that paint up so we can go ahead and resin our mason jar before we uh, lay our iron on down and i sped this part up so that you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me paint mod podge onto our mason jar <laughs> not very fun watching that but i didn't want to skip a step i wanted you to see each step that i took Okay, now I'm going to uh, bring uh, these my butterfly mold out, and I have a few of them, and I'm just going to make several butterflies, and we can choose whatever I make from those. I've got my chameleon powders out here by Let's Resin, and uh, I chose gold, golden, champagne, magenta, and uh, the glitter gold that's not a chameleon. And that's what I'm using right now, the glitter gold. And it's not a chameleon, but it is by Let's Resin. It's one of their, uh, their glitters. And this butterfly I'm uh, dusting in the mold now may be too large. I'm not really sure, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, make it and if we don't use it then I can just put it in my uh, other pieces that I may use at a later date now I'm brushing on that magenta uh, let's resin chameleon powder and this is a smaller butterfly and uh, I had to switch brushes there uh, I picked up one that I had paint on it okay I'm gonna do this butterfly half magenta and half uh, golden. And now there's one more butterfly on here that we may use, and I'm using it in the golden. I have two golds here, gold and golden. Now I'm going to pull out my uh, other, this is an earring mold right here. But that's no big deal. We can still use these butterflies. And this mold right here is um, one of those uh, holographic molds. And I'm just going to dust in the uh, galaxy color. 
into the left and the right side of the butterfly and then I'm gonna go in the center here with some of that gold glitter now I'm gonna go in the center of this butterfly with the magenta and I'm gonna do the uh, a little dot on the uh, outside parts of the butterfly And then go ahead and fill it in with that champagne chameleon powder. And these butterflies may be too big. I'm not sure. We may end up using these size butterflies. Uh, they may work the best. But I just did a variety of them. So I'm going in with that magenta again for this butterfly. I love this butterfly mold right here. It's one of my favorite butterfly molds. And I got it from uh, Michaels. Now I'm going in with the galaxy and that little butterfly to the left. And now in the center here, I did galaxy on uh, one side of the wings and magenta on the other. Now I've got the golden. And I'm going to brush some of that in here as well. So this butterfly is going to have about four different colors in it. <laughs> now I'm going to keep that uh, golden in my hand. And I'm going to dust uh, the opposite wings on this butterfly. And then do the magenta in the middle and a dot on the wings. And then go in with the galaxy. And for this butterfly, we're going to use the champagne. And I just did the whole butterfly in champagne. Now, this right here, you can barely see it. It's really tiny. But we're going to make a, a necklace for our fairy. And I'm not sure which color I want. So I'm going to use the gold, the golden for one of the necklaces. And then I'm going to use the champagne for the other necklace. And I'm not sure which one we'll use, but uh, I just did two different colors just in case I like one over the other. <laughs> Give me a, a variety of choices. Now I'm going to take my black alcohol ink and I'm going to drop it into my resin here. And I'm using Let's Resin Epoxy. And I'm stirring that alcohol ink up really good into my resin. I'm going to spray the mold with some alcohol. And then I'm going to go ahead in with some clear resin into the center of our butterflies. Because it's kind of deep there. And I don't want any bubbles to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce the uh, mold to some resin before I use my black. And I'm just taking that clear resin into some of the deeper parts of the mold. And I'm going to take my heat gun and make sure that there's no bubbles in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour that alcohol ink into my mold. And I'm just using my popsicle stick here so I can have better control over how much I put into the mold. And I'm just cleaning the area around the uh, the feelers of the butterfly. Their little antlers. <laughs> Not antlers. Their little feelers. <laughs> oh, goodness. We've already been there one time. Don't do it again. They're not antlers. <laughs> now I'm uh, dropping that black in over our chameleon powder for the necklaces. And then I'm going to take my little silicone brush here and clean it up. Drag the excess off. And that way I won't have much of a cleanup to do when I uh, demold them.
And since they're so tiny and you could hardly see them, I'm going to hold it up and let y'all get a look at it. See? Aren't those cute? Now, we're back and our uh, mason jar is dry. And I got something on it there, but I'm not worried about it because we're going to place our fairy over it anyway. And we're not putting her on right now. I'm just looking at the color you know, making sure that I like it before I move forward because now is the time to change it if I don't. So I'm just making sure that I am satisfied with that color. Now we're going to go ahead and drop down my uh, plastic feet risers. And this is for elevating your canvases, your paint canvases. But you can also use them, you know, for anything you want to elevate in resin. And I'm just going to put those uh, plastic feet risers under my mason jar. That way, if I have any spillage, I'll be able to clean it up a whole lot easier. Now I'm going to take some of my uh, painter's tape. This is the frog tape. I, I like to use the frog tape. And I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the back of these uh, holes here where our string is going to go back through or our chain, whatever I decide to put there, and protect that area. Now I have some resin here, and I'm going to put some glitter in it, because you know I've got to have that glitter. <laughs> and I'm going to stir it up, and then we're going to go ahead and put the resin onto our mason jar. And I see right here that my camera wasn't high enough to show you all the whole picture. So I do end up getting it even higher after, uh, after this cures and I come back. And I didn't uh, make y'all watch me dome the whole mason jar. Don't worry. <laughs> I just showed a little bit of it so you could kind of see every step that I took. Because I'm sure everybody knows how to dome. So, Okay, now we're ready to get our uh, butterflies out and demold them and see what we got. And this is the champagne color one. And that is beautiful. I think that butterfly might work. And this is the one we got the four different colors in. And it's really pretty, but I don't think this one's going to work for our project. And this is the magenta. I have some cleanup to do on them. And this is the magenta and the galaxy. And that is not going to work. I don't think we're going to be able to pull off the magenta. This is the galaxy. Now we may be able to pull off this color because there, I do believe there's a tad bit of dark, darkish bluish green in uh, one of her wings. So we may be able to uh, pull that color out a bit by adding something that color. Now let's go down a tier, and we have our other mold here. And that is the golden butterfly, the gold glitter. Isn't that beautiful? I love those Let's Resin glitters. They are so pretty. They're the, um, I don't know if they're chameleon glitters or not. I don't, I don't have it in front of me, so I'm not sure. But I'll add it up here in the left or the right corner. And I'm just uh, trying to pick off some of that uh, overspill that I had. But this butterfly is beautiful. I love that. But th those may be a bit too big. And here is the uh, glitter gold and the magenta. And here is the champagne. 
No, that's the galaxy. I'm sorry. Now let's go down a tier. And here we are with the um, other butterflies, which are earrings. But we can make those work too, right? <laughs> and I don't like that one. I don't, I don't really like that one. The center is not dusted good enough. It looks terrible. <laughs> oh, goodness. He needs some help. And then this one, oh, it's beautiful. I like that. That turned out so pretty, but I don't think that's going to work either. I may have to remake some butterflies, you guys. <laughs> yeah, these colors are not working for me, but we will try them on there and, and take a look at them and see, you know, what they look like. Now let's get our necklaces out for our fairy. I'm not sure which color we'll use. But I have some cleanup to do on them for sure. <laughs> you can't even make out what that is. Now this one's a little bit better. Not much cleanup to do on that one. Okay, now we're back and our mason jar is cured. Let's go ahead and place our fairy down here and get the placement right for her so we can go ahead and iron her on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this strip of uh, diamonds up here. It's a diamond uh, ribbon. And I'm going to make sure that I place her right. And I wanted to add that ribbon up there just so I can be sure that I take that into consideration when I'm placing her. I'm going to get my little um, thingy out here, <laughs> and I'm going to try to get her right in the center. So I take my tape measure, and in between the holes up there at the top, I put it in the center of that, and then go straight down. And I think I have her centered just right. Now I've got my little uh, Cricut iron heated up. And we're going to go ahead and iron her on here. And this is so much easier. I got to tell y'all though, my heat gun has, um, it's just died on me. <laughs> I have to beat it up against the table just to get it on and off. <laughs> yes, it's a mess, a mess. So I'm just going to have to deal with it for a little bit. But it, it really gets on my nerves. I have to beat it just to get it on and off. I guess the resin got, you know, on it. And I've tried to clean it, but I almost broke the switch on it from doing that. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get a new heat gun. Now, here I get my fan out, and I'm trying to uh, rush the cooling process, if you will. <laughs> now, I'm going to take my little Cricut tool here that I like to use to pull up the edges and make sure that it's down and I'm going to have to put a little more heat on this area. But we'll move down here at the bottom and let that cool. There's another area over here so I'm just going to put a little bit of heat on it. And then we'll move to the other side. And let that cool off a bit. I'm just checking to make sure that it's that it's adhered. Okay, let's move over here and let that cool a little bit. Oh, look at that, y'all. Isn't that going to be beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I have no idea what we're going to do with this, but we're going to try to make it look very pretty 
something magical. I think we made it, y'all. Woohoo! Look at that. There she is. She came to life. Look at that. She looks like she's just floating in the mason jar. Okay, now let's put our little diamond strip back up here that I think matches very well to our mason jar. Now, I have this little bracelet here that broke. So, I pulled it out of my little jewelry box and we're going to try to put it up here below our uh, diamond strip. And then let our butterflies hang from it. And I just don't like those colors on the butterflies. I like the gold, but I don't like the other ones. Now, I do like the champagne, which is the butterfly in the center. I think that one's okay. But the galaxy and the magenta is a no-go for me. So, I am going to have to make some more butterflies. And these big ones are not working for me either. I'm going to have to uh, tone it down a bit and go with the smaller butterflies. I did think about taking that gold one and putting it somewhere down at the bottom on a spinner. You know, because I have bigger spinners. I don't, you know, I, the little bitty spinners that, that we have worked with in the past are not the only spinners that I have. You've just never seen my other bigger spinners. So we can put that bigger butterfly on a spinner and put it closer to the bottom because we do have that empty space down there which we're going to have to do something with. Um, I'm not real sure. I haven't gotten that far yet. But this is going to be a two-part video. We're not going to be able to finish this in one video. Um, so, because I'm still going to have to take this and, uh, and throw resin over it to protect our fairy. Now, I put some shades on her. Look at that, y'all. She's coming to life. Look at her. We put her necklace on. Now, you see how her belt goes into a V? This butterfly goes into a V as well. So, I think I'm going to work that butterfly into her belt. And I have some chain right here that has diamonds in it. And I'm going to cut some pieces off of it. And I'm going to try to... Um, connect that that piece of the diamond bracelet to her butterfly and make it look like her belt like it's going around her but i cannot uh put that in resin because it will take the diamond look away from the diamonds so we're going to have to put this on after i coat this with resin I'm just uh, walking through this a bit to see what we're going to do, you know, before I put the resin over it. So that way I'll have a better idea of what I'm going to put on the mason jar. So I thought we would kind of walk through it and piece it together before I put that last coat of resin on it. And then we finish the project. Okay, I have... I have some keys here and I'm wanting to look like those keys are dangling from her wrist because she has a rope around her wrist. So I'm going to take this chain and I'm going to travel that rope on her wrist with this chain right like that. And then I'm going to put the keys below it to make it appear that the keys are hanging from the uh, chain on her wrist. And the bigger key is going to have to hang below the other two smaller keys to make it look realistic. So I'm going to cut some more of that chain off. And I'm going to drop it down from the one that's on her wrist so that the bigger key will hang from that. 
And that way they won't be all scrunched up there together. And we're putting some keys on here because up there up on top at the chain up top, there's some locks on the, uh, the butterfly chain. So she's got the keys to those locks. And that's just how I vision this piece. I love creating things like this, you know, like placing a, uh, like this fairy, you know, onto a piece of wood and then taking resin pieces and just making something, you know, just magical out of it. You know, just taking your imagination and just letting it run wild. I absolutely love doing pieces like this. And I'm using this um, skewer stick that you cook with. I buy them and use them in my craft room because it gives me better control of where I'm, you know, dragging these chains and stuff to get them right where I want them. And I'm cutting, you know, that long piece of chain for our big key. That's what I just cut right now. And I'm adding it right below there connecting it to the one on her wrist and now I'm dragging those keys to the chain right like that okay now I found some of these little uh they look like little uh gold stars but they're not your uh your typical star they're just a different shape star. And I think they might look pretty around the jar, kind of like fireflies. So I thought we might use a few of them. Now, right there on her where I was just pointing at with my stick and then up here on her butterflies, I think I may put some diamonds there. Some of these Swarovski crystals. I think that would look beautiful there. So I'm just going to drag one of them out of my little uh, container here and see what it looks like. Well, I don't know where it went. <laughs> Did y'all see where it went? <laughs> Let me get another one out of here. There we go. I need to flip it over and then put it right there. What do y'all think about that? Putting uh, the Swarovski crystals right there. I think that's gorgeous. Okay, we're going to lose these butterflies up top here because they are too big. Let's go ahead and work in some of the smaller ones and fix the chain up here. Kind of like what I visioned it to be like. I'm going to drag it a little bit further here and connect it there. Bring our locks up a little bit. Now let's pick out some of those smaller butterflies and see if that's going to work a lot better. I'm just choosing some of the smaller ones. We're not going to keep these colors here. I'm going to uh, cast us some more butterflies. Now that I have a better idea of what I'm going to need. And the colors that I'm going to need. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm not going to finish this until um, tonight. So let me know what you guys' uh, thoughts are on this. Okay, we're going to take off the butterflies. And I'm just showing you the colors that we may go with next on the butterflies that I, the new butterflies that I make. The champagne, the glitter gold, and the golden are the colors that we're going to use for the butterflies. And this is the champagne color right here. And I think that color looks really good. That's the only color I may use um, other than the gold. Because I think that color looks really good. The gold and the champagne. 
So I may fluctuate back and forth with those colors and uh, see what we can get. Uh-oh, there's some thunder. We may get a little bit of rain. I'm okay. I, uh, I did not get any of that storm that happened in Texas. Uh, I didn't get any of it. Uh, I was hoping for some rain, but we didn't get any. We got a few little sprinkles, and my plants need it so bad. I've been having to water three times a day. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain today. I'm going to take everything off and put it in my dish here so I don't lose it. So that way I can go ahead and resin our mason jar up. And protect our fairy. But let me know y'all's thoughts on uh, the butterflies, the placement of them. Do you think I should put a spinner butterfly on here? Let me know in the comment uh, section below. Now, I did find this, uh, this little uh, perfume bottle right here. And I'm going to try to see if I can get the little uh, thing off of the back here. I found these at a hair shop. So I'm pretty sure they're for your hair. But look at that. It's a uh, perfume bottle, and I think we might put it on a spinner and uh, find a place for it on our mason jar. See, this is the bigger spinners that I have, and we can put that perfume bottle on there and let it spin. What do y'all think about that? We'll have to find a place for it. Let me know if we should put in the perfume bottle or not. Now, I did find this too. It's uh, for your hair, but let's open it up and see if we might be able to work it somewhere into here. I was thinking maybe when we get uh, finished with everything and we uh, put our chain through the top so that our mason jar can hang up, I don't know if I'm going to do a rope or a chain or if I may do both, but I thought this right here may be pretty tied in with the um the uh chain or the rope up top that we go go through the holes at, at the top of the mason jar so what do y'all think do y'all think that would look uh pretty tied in with the um the how i'm going to make it functional for the wall let me know It won't fit back in that bag, so I'm just going to put it over here in our little uh, dish that I have all the pieces in so I don't lose anything. And before I go, I wanted to know which pair of glasses do y'all like better for our fairy? And then I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. Do y'all like this pair of shades for her? Or do you like this pair of shades for her? Let me know in the comment section below because I am torn between the two. It's about that time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed the video so far and I will see you tomorrow to finish this up in part two. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends.